guys, before we get into this video, I must click pause and give a big shout out to my jewelry plug, Anna Luisa. Every single piece of jewelry that I'm wearing throughout this video is from them and they deserve all the praise. They sell high quality jewelry at affordable prices and let me tell you this now, I would never lie to you, I did not want take them off i know it's a bit crazy but i hardly ever take jewelry off because of the fear of losing them listen i climbed mountains crossed oceans traveled to distant lands okay it's a bit of a stretch but on this holiday i decided to be a fish and i was in and out of the super salty ocean and when i tell you they still look as good as new like straight out of the packet shiny when i say high quality i mean it you know how i've been screaming save the planet save the planet save the planet they are a carbon neutral brand look at this packaging the pouches are so cute and convenient i'm definitely gonna keep these who said plastic where where not here the pieces are extremely unique and fabulous considering that i'm so keen on expanding my jewelry collection these are such staples i was gifted two fancy earrings and it's a pain that i can't wear them both at the same time maybe it's time for me to get some new piercings this one is my absolute favorite they've easily become my everyday earrings i'm even wearing them right now it's unlike anything i've ever seen before like they're so pretty and this necklace is so elegant it goes with everything it's literally the best necklace you can use as the base of a stack or you can easily just wear it alone to elevate your look lastly and most importantly this bracelet i might even shed it here for this bracelet because it's so beautiful it's such a stunning piece and guys trust me it's never gonna come off my wrist my wrist is gonna be blinging forever they offer free and fast shipping all over the u.s and i know you're not in the u.s neither am i but guess what they ship everywhere even if you're under the sea they are gonna get it to you so just chill you're sorted they've got you finally finally guys i've done all this talking but you know me i can't leave without putting you guys on you can get a whopping 20 percent discount on all your purchases with the discount code lololi 20 that's l-o-l-o-l-i to zero a whole 20 percent just because you know me the link is in the description box below make sure to go and get yourself some pieces you to try small put some jewelry on make sure you're looking nice and fresh don't say i didn't put you on elevate your everyday with anna luisa bye guys <laughs>i am back with another video matter of fact i'm back with the whole family the whole gang everybody is here the last time you saw us all together was sometime in december when we went back to ghana for christmas holidays but guess what now we're back and we're better there's no need for reintroductions you're already familiar with the characters in the show if you know you know but if you don't know you don't know so go back to the old videos and go and revise and get with the program this time around we're going to greece our sweet auntie is getting married and you know we had to pull up in our numbers we came from far and wide close and near from accra to kotobabi from london to leicester we had to pull up we had a really early flight around about 8 ish so we had to leave home at the crack of dawn literally before 4 and we got to the airport around 5 40 ish we went through the normal airport protocols i'm not even gonna bore you with that we checked our bags and we did all of that and then we headed to our gates for boarding we had speedy boarding so we just bypassed everybody in that long queue and just went straight to the front that's how it felt to be royalty we met loads of family members around and it's no surprise because we're all heading to the same event everybody was excited and the vibes were great until we got into this lift and it suddenly oh, went oh. out of uh, service uh, uh. it was out of service for a second it said out, out of service out of service Ona mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> super bad you were here yeah. <laughs> relax let's, let's just be calm Doors opening. We serve a living God and he opened a door for us. There was no way our trip was going to end before we even got the chance to fly out. We finally boarded and we were all sitting together. Mom, Dad and Kelly sat behind Fafa and I and Uncle Clinton and Auntie Abby sat elsewhere so they could get some extra leg room. Put them on their side as it does me. Very good. Morning, welcome all to CGF Flight Shopping Departing to Mykonos. We do now ask you we took off a couple minutes to 9 a.m and as soon as we got off the ground i was out like a light i just fell asleep because i had not slept the night before
addicted, oh, Joe. I'm getting addicted, oh, babe. I'm getting addicted, oh, Joe. I'm getting addicted. To I think the flight was about four hours, I'm not too sure, but I didn't feel too long. We finally arrived and we went through all the airport protocols again. I'm not going to bore you with that. Then we waited for our bags that we checked in and then we were outside. The weather hit different. As soon as we stepped outside, the sun was shining. The resort that we were staying at offered a free shuttle service from the airport, so we got picked up and I think his name was Costas, he was amazing, fantastic, he did his job and more. Big shout out to Costas. If that's not his name, you remember his face. He got picked up in a Sprinter, 100 Isis. They will fit him with SUV, SOS, somebody with <laughs> The resort wasn't too far from the airport, it took about 10 minutes and we got there. We were staying at the Eolus Resort. I literally just checked the internet for how to pronounce this word. If I still did not get it right, pardon me, please, just pardon me. The resort looks super cute, the white, the pastel blues, the outside was so nice. The pool, everything was just given, but it just felt a bit small for me. Only for me to realize that that's just the reception, bro. That was just the reception. They put us in golf carts and they sent us to the other side. That's when I saw that, yes, this place is fantastic. And they had loads of rooms and two different wings. They had the daylight wing and the sunset wing. And each wing had its own like pool area, jacuzzis and like a pool bar. Our rooms were in the daylight wing and we had three rooms, two double rooms for my uncle and auntie and one for my parents and we had a triple room for us three, my brother and sister and myself. Here you can see Costas again just being the absolute G that he is. By the time we got to the rooms, the bags were already there. We didn't have to lift a finger. This is what it felt like to be royalty. We were living a softer life. Living like celebs, superstars. Everything was just amazing. The service was so good. We got the keys to the room and I'm not even gonna talk. Just watch. We quickly got settled into the room Yo and sad. we changed into our swimsuits and headed Yo out sad. for a bit. After all, we didn't go there to sleep. There's bed at home, there's bed in London. There's no reason to go all the way to Greece just to sleep. So before we went to the pool, we decided to walk around the rest of the resort to see what it was like. We went to the sunset wing just to see what made it different from ours. It had a stunning view. Like, viewing you're very crazy. We scouted a few Instagram locations and then we headed back to our pool at the daylight wing. I decided to get into the jacuzzi because the pool was way too cold and I'm a hot girl and you know, heat and cold cannot coexist. I won't lie, it was a very relaxing experience and the vibes were great.
Once we got out, we had a super late lunch slash dinner. The pool bar menu was a bit limited, so we were only able to get some sliders and club sandwiches and a salad. Afterwards, we got changed into some warmer clothes because it was getting cold again, and then we decided to head into Mykonos town. We heard quite a lot about it, and we decided that we must also go and see some. Costa suggested that it would be a great idea to go and watch the sunset from the popular windmills in the town but before we left we had to go back to the sunset wing to show my mom, dad and aunt what it looked like up there. The sun was setting and it just made everything look so much more beautiful. And we were meant to walk to the town but we managed to get a free ride because this resort, the people there are just amazing. Like they are so helpful, we were supposed to walk but they said no you must live a soft life so they put us in a car and we went. Once we got there, we didn't really have a plan. We just decided to walk and walk and walk, just follow the streets, let the streets take us. There were loads of souvenir shops. We walked through them, bought a few bits here and there. There were loads of jewelry shops as well. Overall, the streets were so pretty and they looked just like in the pictures. The windmills that Costas told us about but then we still managed to see the sun as it was setting and it was just as beautiful like I don't know why when you travel everything starts to look like um, screensavers but then it was just giving screensaver perfection type of vibe and then we had ice cream hey please not ice cream we had gelato gelato and that was the beginning of us having gelato slash ice cream every single day we had gelato at least once every single day of the trip i'm not even capping oh, i sure you like it <laughs> after our sweet treats we continued walking down the streets we were practically just walking in a circle we came across loads of designer shops and this one in particular was so captivating it had loads of one-off pieces and had an overall subversive kind of vibe with loads of grunge elements and unconventional styling it was an overall dark color palette but then had occasional pops of color here and there the craftsmanship and details were insane they didn't stock the usual high-end designers it was mostly people i'd never heard of before i discovered a new designer taichi murakami which is always an exciting experience there was off-white there was dior like so many designer shops there were loads of boutiques that stocked these designers as well and the gallery see i was on a high but then everyone else was getting tired and we just had to call it a night and go back home we struggled for a bit but we managed to get a taxi that would take all six of us, it was practically a van and yeah, it was given nightclub vibes but you know, we managed to get home. It was a new 
day and my siblings and I woke up around 7 a.m. just so we could get ready super early and take some Instagram pictures. If I've reached this point, the pictures are on my Instagram already, so make sure to go to my Instagram, go and like and comment. Unfortunately, our time at Alos had ended and we packed up all our stuff and got back into the van. Costas being the ever so reliable man that he is, dropped us off at the port. We set off to catch our ferry at, I don't know what time the ferry was, you know. Okay, I just checked. The ferry was scheduled to leave around 12. We got to the port around 11-ish. It wasn't too far from the resort as well. It was just about 20 minutes-ish. And when we got to the port, we took all our bags out and everything. We said bye to Costas. And we got some snacks because a girl was hungry. I don't even think I vlogged the snacks that we bought because I was just stuffing my face. <laughs> Welcome back to our YouTube channel. We're gonna go catch a ferry to Paris. Yeah, we're so excited. The ferry finally arrived at 12.15 and we got all our luggage and boarded, I guess, and yeah. It was a bit of a struggle, but we finally got on. It was giving Noah's Ark type of vibe. <laughs> but yeah, they closed the, this one. We were all inside and we went to find our seats. I don't know why I thought the trip was gonna be about two hours. It wasn't, it really just felt like 30 minutes. It wasn't long and we got there. After I had gotten comfortable, they told us that we had reached. So we all had to stand up and then take our luggage again and just get out. But then we arrived in Paros. The car rental man had our name on his thingy. We went over to him, we signed all the paperwork and everything. My dad was the one driving. We loaded all our luggage in the car and then we set off. Paros was just as beautiful as Mykonos. The drive wasn't that long either. I feel like it's just because all the islands are small, 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 small. That's why the drives don't feel that long. Anyway, it took less than 30 minutes and we got to our Airbnb. For the Airbnb, we also had two double rooms and a triple room. The same exact formation, 223, mom and dad, aunt and uncle, papa, Kelly and myself. Overall, the Airbnb was very pretty and homey. My parents' room had a very cute balcony overlooking the quay. It was such a great view of the sea with the boats and everything. And there was a long strip of restaurants just at our doorstep. We were so close to the beach and you know us, we couldn't resist. We had to go and change immediately and take a trip to the beach to have a dip.
just look at the water you see everything is just so hd once you're out of the country the water was so cold and it took a lot of bravery and courage to finally go in but i did after a while it got warmer and it became more and more enjoyable after that hunger struck again the airbnb unfortunately didn't have any cooking facilities so we had to eat local we had lunch at a restaurant just on the key called archipelagos the food was so good Later that evening, we went to dinner at around 8.30. All the family and friends came together to catch up, get to know each other. You know, just to talk, have fun, drink and eat. There were so many different starters. We had bread, we had a small, small baby fish, you know, Bobby, one man thousand anchovies. And there was calamari, there was so many different things, so many different vegetables, there was potatoes. My uncle kept trying to hide from the camera, he doesn't know that they call me Speedy Gonzalez. I caught him in 4K. For the main course, we had um, shrimp pasta, which was fantastic as well. For the dessert, we had watermelon and grapes. And my uncle desperately wanted to try the viral TikTok trend where you put lemon juice on a watermelon. It does smell. It does smell. After the dinner, we decided to go out into the town because what even is sleeping? I don't know what that is, do you? We went to about three different bars. We were on a rotation, rotating. We went to three different bars and the vibes were great. I can't lie, it was Oibo music and that, but then I enjoyed it. After the third bar I was exhausted and we decided to go home but before going home we stopped to get some ice cream because obviously we have an addiction and have no control. Major Dan, the major producer. Next morning, there was no rush to go anywhere, so we 
finally made it out of bed after 11. We went into the town in search of sandals and a few bits for the wedding. And of course, you know, we had to feel our addiction once again. We stopped to get some ice lollies. And guys, let me tell you, this one was so good. Papa got a salted caramel one dipped in white chocolate and I kind of got the opposite. I got a white chocolate ice lolly dipped in some gold sauce type of thing. I think it's a mix of white chocolate and caramel. After one, we headed to Monastery Beach for the wedding rehearsals. My dad was leading the singers and dancers. He taught them an hour song and how to play the drums correctly. And let me just say, the aesthetic of the whole place was amazing. Like, I just loved how it looked. The wedding was set to take place in like an amphitheatre type of place, overlooking the sea. Everything was just everything was just picture perfect and i just couldn't wait for the actual day the rehearsal went good everything was everything was just going really well After a while we got some drinks and headed to the beach for a dip. The water here was shallow for quite a distance so I quite liked it. We also got a paddle boat and we just chilled. Afterwards we went over to the family house to have lunch. Always, there was a widespread of different kinds of foods but then my absolute favorite the highlight of the whole meal was this um, I'm just gonna call it both fruits because I don't know what it's actually called it was fantastic we had it with honey and it was just amazing we were just clearing the plates Later that evening, we headed to the pre-wedding cocktail party. The time had finally come for me to wear the dress that I made for myself. Literally in under 24 hours, that outfit was made. I also made fafa skirts and guys, round of applause for signed LQ. Round of applause, round of applause, round of applause again, standing ovation, thank you. For the stress I went through making these outfits in less than three days, they looked absolutely stunning and I was so proud of myself. Round of applause for the outfits again. Towards the end of the night, we went to get ice cream again and I know by now you are thinking there's something wrong with us. I am even aware that there's something wrong with us because it was, it was, it was, I don't even know. We got our ice cream and then headed back to the party. It was still, it was still lively. People were dancing and the vibes were great. That's all for now guys. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Make sure to look out for part two 
and don't forget to click the link in the description box below to get 20% off all your purchases from Ana Luisa.